Okay, this video is called How to Lose Weight Fast. I've had viewers asking me about this, uh, sending me emails about this. And so, a couple key points. Uh, rule number one, remember what Dr. McDougall said, the fat you eat is the fat you wear. If you look at countries where people ate really low-fat diets, the entire population would be skinny. You know, in China, when, before, let's say, 1970, and they were eating about you know, almost 90% of their calories from white rice. A billion out of a billion were skinny. Look at a Bruce Lee movie. All the extras are skinny. The only person who's fat, a little bit fat, is Bolo, and he's probably taking steroids, eating meat, you know, eating a diet like a sumo wrestler. If you look at Papua, Papua New Guinea, they're eating 93% of their calories from sweet potatoes. They're all skinny, fit, and muscular looking. Um, starches are the best foods to satisfy hunger. Um, fruits are also good, but starches are the best. Starches are basically a polymer of glucose, a long chain molecule of glucose wrapped in fiber. So it takes time. Uh, first of all, the low caloric density of a starch stretches the stomach, and that provides early satisfaction of hunger, early satiety. Then the starch goes into the intestinal tract, and it takes time for the digestive enzymes to peel the fiber away from the glucose and then the glucose is absorbed into the blood so you get a relatively not that much of a spike in the blood glucose and you basically with a starch satisfy your hunger with the fewest number of calories for the most prolonged amount of time the taking of time for the digestive enzymes to remove the fiber from the glucose the polymer of starch the polymer of glucose and starch creates the effect of almost having a slow release, you know, slow time release energy pill. Okay, it's it's what you want. You satisfy your hunger with the fewest number of calories. It tends to make you skinny and healthy. If you eat something that's too much simple sugars, like one of those soda pop or something, you'll spike your blood glucose kind of rapidly and it'll sometimes then the pancreas will overcompensate. It doesn't understand what's happening and it'll drive your blood glucose down too quickly. That's called rebound hypoglycemia. And there's a tendency to, to immediately start eating and you know having more soda pop or all of the same. And then your blood glucose curve is like a roller coaster all day long. That's bad too. That leads to obesity. Um, fruits is a whole big topic. I've made entire lectures on that. Uh, eat low caloric density. Uh, Chef AJ has the best book on how to lose weight. Also at her YouTube channel, she's got lectures on what she recommends for losing weight. So that's very good information. You'll you'll see that be helpful for you. Okay. Um, let's see what else. Uh, if you eat eat low caloric density, so uh, the lower the percentage of calories from fat, the faster you're going to lose weight. White rice, potatoes, and sweet potatoes only have one percent of the calories from fat. Those are great weight loss foods. Oh, I made the note that. Um, the Vietnam soldiers, who were great soldiers in the Vietnam War in the 1960s, all they would carry around with themselves would be rice and water, okay? And they had a lot of energy. They were badasses, okay? Um, the other thing is you don't need that much variety. There's this idea going around, oh, you need to eat all this variety of plant foods. No, you don't. I mean, you can if you want, but you don't have to. A lot of these populations didn't eat that much variety. Um, let's see, what else? I don't eat that much variety for many, 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 many years. And I still think my function is pretty good. I'm 60. I'm strong in the weight room. I can concentrate 12 hours in a row and write a book chapter in a single day. Things are working well. <laughs> uh, all right. Anyways, um, lentils are only 3% of calories from fat. That's like the lowest percentage of calories from fat of any of the beans. Black beans are similar to about 4% of fat. There's a bunch of different types of lentils. For example, garbanzo beans, uh, they're also called chickpeas, they're about 13% fat. You know, oatmeal, I forget the exact number, in the ballpark of about 15% of the calories from fat. So if you were trying to lose weight, you might want to go a little easier on that. Don't get me wrong, 15% of fat, calories from fat, is still reasonable. But if you're trying to lose weight, you'd want to be lower than that. Soy, by the way, is super fat and it's estrogenic. I think soy is for chumps. It's a good way to sterilize low IQ chumps. Okay, uh, eat your veggies first. Oh, Chef AJ emphasizes that. And it makes sense. Veggies are very low in caloric density. It's going to stretch your stomach, provide early satisfaction of hunger, slow down your digestion. Okay, if it's in your age, Chef AJ also writes that if it's in your house, it's in your mouth. So get all the animal foods, processed foods, the oil out of your house. That will do you no good. And if, you know... You'll have a moment of weakness and you'll binge it if it's still in your house. You want to get that out of your house. Uh, processed foods are loaded with flavorants, things like sodium, MSG, MFG, and you'll have a tendency to overeat with those types of foods. Um, when you eat 
uh, foods, you know, they feed animals foods with MSG, MFG to get the animal to overeat, to make them fat, like in a research study, if you want to make the lab animals fat, you know, to cause atherosclerosis in research study. They feed the animals eggs, okay? Forget all the animal food. You can't win with all the animal foods. And if you're hesitant to give up animal foods, my advice would be just try it for a couple months, okay? If you're taking medicines for diabetes or hypertension, you got to work with your doctor because your pressure is going to come down, your sugars are going to improve. So your old dosages of meds on your old crappy diet, probably the SAD diet, standard American diet, we're going to be over-treating yourself. So you're going to have to work with your doctor if you're on any pills. But if you're not, then you could do this. Um, so that's another reason to avoid processed foods. Processed foods are also often loaded with estrogenic chemicals. Estrogen is a fat storage hormone. You know, it tells the, the pregnant woman her estrogen goes way up and it sort of tells her body store weight, gain weight, the baby might need it for energy. So the point is when you eat a lot of these estrogenic chemicals, they can make you fat. Estrogenic chemicals also tend to be neurotoxic. Um, so they also make you stupid. Um, they're commonly used as preservatives or antimicrobial. They also uh, decrease fertility. Um, many of them do. Uh, so these are just some of the reasons. You also would want to get a water filter. At a bare minimum, you want to get a carbon water filter because that removes all the estrogenic chemicals because estrogen is an organic chemical. Um, ideally, you would also want to remove F- minus because it's neurotoxic, but it's not as big a deal for obesity. Um, those are some of the things. You never want oils. Oils uh, in your food, and there's a lot of them in processed food. Processed food is loaded with oils and sodium, but the oils also uh, can be toxic to the brain. According to Tetsumori Yamashima, Japanese neuroscientist, the lipid peroxidation of omega-6 cooking oils leads to production of toxic aldehydes called hydroxynanols that are toxic to the arcuate nucleus in the hippocampus, the hunger center. And w when that gets damaged, he believes that it makes a person less able to control their willpower and choose a healthy diet. So the chronic, the more long a person's eating processed foods and fat foods and oils and getting fatter and fatter, the harder it is to turn it around. So anyways, those are that's the rationale. I've made longer videos about this. Chef AJ goes into much, much, much more detail about all this stuff. But what I'm just saying is it's not rocket science. This is what you do. This is what works. And you would also ask yourself, well, how do I know that's true? I've heard contradictory information. You're always going to hear contradictory information. You have to remember the system, the system we live in, it does not want the pros to be healthy. It does not want the pros to be skinny. The typical person who doesn't know what they're talking about but wants to pretend they do will recommend the Mediterranean diet. As soon as you hear somebody say Mediterranean diet, you immediately know that person's an ignoramus or a liar, okay? So the Mediterranean diet is a joke. It almost doesn't prohibit anything. It's, it's completely stupid. Um, it's sort of the mantra of all the BS artists. Um, okay, well, anyways, all you got to do is look at the, the epidemiology. Like I said, a billion out of a billion rice eaters are skinny, okay? Sweet potato eaters are skinny. I think sweet potato is probably the best food in the world. It's low protein and low fat. It's about 1% of calories from fat and about 4.5 or so percent of calories from protein. It's like perfect, and it tastes great. The Okinawans were also real healthy back in the day when they used to eat a lot of sweet potatoes, okay? And, and uh these are all real healthy foods. You know, I have a separate video about how to, you know, choose your rice so you get the ones that's the safest rice because there is some arsenic problem in some rice, so that's a, a relevant issue. Um, and the potatoes and sweet potatoes, you know, the potatoes, you live them up by mixing them with the beans and the rice, for example. But they're a very satisfying food. Um, so anyways, that's how it all works. Uh, and the only three foods you need to eat, I've made videos about vegan, Spartan vegan diet for beginners, starches, and fruits to satisfy hunger, especially starches, veggies for some additional nutrients. And that's it. Those are the only three foods you need to know. <laughs> okay, it's simple. All right, well, anyways, I hope this was helpful.